Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lindsay, and today is a vlog day because I got some exciting news, guys. I got my DNA results. They've been in for a couple weeks. I haven't got around to get making the video, so sorry guys, but yeah, I finally got my DNA results, and let's just say it's pretty interesting. I mean, I discussed it with my family, and I'm getting a lot of feedback saying like, why on certain certain whatever you want to call it um country I came from but I don't know some people think they did that they did it wrong but I you know what maybe there's might be just one gene that's not just dominant in my in my DNA I guess maybe I didn't get it but people think you know with the whole sciencey thing that that you're supposed to be like I think I'm supposed to get something more out of one parent than the other but I don't know but I'm so excited guys so I'm gonna share you my results of what I am um, ah, my thing went all crazy on me ah show details here we go we'll get back to this well for starters I am 100% all Europe everything's Europe so I'm not anything else or any, you know, I'm not South American, African or nothing. I don't have any of that. I am as, I guess if you want to consider, I'm totally as white as you can get. <laughs> but anyways, um, my results are that I am 70%, 76% Great Britain. So all you Great Britain people out there, all your England people, I'm mostly you. But I kind of figured that one just because I do have family, family that did come from that area especially Scot Scotland I know for sure and I think um, the England part below I know there's like three different sections in that but yeah um, so I got some Wales in there too I guess <laughs> but I knew like I was part of the great the the England part and I knew I was Scotland because I know some of my family members came from there so I kind of already figured I would at least have that but I didn't know I was gonna have that much in my DNA for that uh, so yeah um, the next one is um, I'm 10% Europe East which I think um, Europe East Europe East what is Europe East it is mostly all like oh I have to see it here mostly over by um well I mean it's a little bit of everything but like your it looks like well I'm looking on my phone, sorry guys, with um, the map and stuff, and um, looks like I like Germany and all that, and part of Russia, and, there's, and the other ones around there, I'm most, I'm 10% of that, so, um, so there's my German, I guess, but what my family was saying to me that I should have got what my mom's side is, which is German, and I didn't get that gene, so I don't know you know if this is really great or not but has a general sense but I still got German in me it's not just like you know total waste of you know but maybe it just didn't become dominant in me but I guess somewhere they say like science wise that girls are supposed to get more of what their mothers are obviously it didn't happen to me obviously I got more of my dad than I did my mom but if anybody wants to kind of clarify with me please comment below because I'm not for sure who's right or not, but, you know, that's what people told me, and that's what, like, families told me, and all that stuff, but let me know. <laughs> but, and then, we're getting to, the now I'm getting to kind of more of the lower numbers of my ancestry, but I have 5% Iberian Pensa, which is basically Spain and Portugal, that, that Pensa right there, that, I got some of that, so I'm like, ooh, we got some, some Latin in there, <laughs> maybe not like South American, but I do got some. Spanish in me so maybe that's where I get my tanning maybe because I can tan very good in the summer guys I know you can't see right now because here lately here in my small neck of the woods we are getting more rain than anything else and it's been cloudy most of the time so every time I try I even plan it out but I think I need to stop planning out my times to sit out in the sun so hopefully by the end of the summer you'll see me as my tan state with that you know all that, you know all that so Anyways, um, the next one is I am 3% three, 3 Scandinavia, which is mostly, I think, oh, what, it, yeah, it's probably explanatory, but 
I can see it too, I think. Yeah, Scandinavia, yeah, down where, like, I think, yeah. Wherever that is, I don't know. I'm trying to look, and it's not working very out very well. So, but yeah, I'm 3%. So, all you Scandinavians out there, I'm part you too. <laughs> I need to know, understand that maybe that might be the country I'm probably need, the area I need to start getting into because I don't know anything too much about them. So, might as well probably start them with them first probably <laughs> um the next part next the next one they say i'm two two percent um finland northwest northwest russia <sighs> mouthful <laughs> a lot of mouthful but i thought that was kind of cool too i mean i like some russian culture and everything like that you know i mean i like some of the one we learned a little bit about in history especially during like i think it was World War One and stuff with the whole, you know, the the king, the yeah, the Tsar Nicholas and stuff with that whole situation. Possibly the one daughter still alive and you know all that Anastasia and stuff. That was kind of interesting, even though she wasn't alive. But who knows? I don't know. I think they did find something. I don't know. I have to, to deeply look. I don't know. Anyways, um, my next one, which is still two percent, is Italy and Greece. I was so excited when I got that because I was like, I know, I know I have to be some sort of Italian because, okay, come on. I love my pasta. Pasta is my life. If I could without gaining so much weight or anything or, you know, gaining so much whatever, I would eat pasta every day. But my thing is if I eat pasta every day because I don't exercise, I'm not a exercise person. I try to say I want to be, but it doesn't, I procrastinate against it and all that. So sorry, but I'm, but, but no, but guys, don't think I'm trying to say I'm trying to lose weight and stuff like that. I love my body as it is. Whatever my body's going to be, that's what I'm going to stick with. So, I mean, I'm not, if I'm not like a skinny, skinny person, but I do have some curves and all that. But you know what? I'm proud of my body the way it is. If that's the way that God made me, that's the way God made me. So, I'm not too worried about it. And also, I thought it was cool to have part Greece, too, in there because I do like Greece culture. I love way back in the day Greece. I love all the the um, gods thing they did and all that, all those myths and everything. I love it, so I would love to get to know more about that country. That would be so much fun, and I think you guys will enjoy that, too, when we get to that. Um, my next one is 2% Europe West. Europe West is pretty much... I guess everybody else like France and all that other good stuff I think and everything like that so yeah so I mean I got pretty much like you said like you can hear me say I got pretty much all Europe and they are saying I'm 100% European all white people besides maybe a little bit of Spain but I think they got some some stalker dark skin a little bit maybe some of them I don't know I haven't been <laughs> I have to look that up but you know but anyways so that is my DNA testing so I would like you guys your guys's opinion on where should I start first should I start in Great Britain Europe East Iberian Peninsula Peninsula blah 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 if I can talk um, Scandinavia Finland Northwest Russia Italy Greece or Europe West those are your um options for me so where do you guys want to start where should our adventure go first I if you have it which one you want please put it down in the comments below and we'll start maybe start exploring the countries and all that so I hope we'll get to it and explore and I hope I get some cooking in because I think it'll be so much fun to cook some of these like main foods from each area and try them out and maybe have some other people try it out too. So maybe look keep a lookout, guys. I don't know, but um, but I do have they have this thing too. Like hundreds of years ago, it's genetic communities. I didn't know anything about that, but I thought that was cool. But um, but they say I have early settlers of the Ohio River Valley, Indiana. Oh, excuse me, Ohio Valley, Indiana, Illinois, and Iowa, which connection is very likely. Okay, I can see that. That's pretty cool. And then they said I have French settlers along the St. Lawrence, which is possible. Well, according to the map, that's pretty much over in um, 
well, of course, United States because of Ohio River and stuff like that. But I do have some French Canadian family members, and that's where the um, the St. Lawrence River is of the French settlers. So that's probably where my French is and all that stuff. So that's kind of true. And then I didn't know about the Ohio River Valley, you know, that area. Well, kind of, but you know, it's it's yeah. <laughs> Trying to look at this is kind of hard on your phone because it's so small. But anyway, so. I thought you guys might enjoy that so anyway so I hope you guys will give me some ideas on what I should do and all that and where to start or I'll if no one wants to put comments I will start myself and we'll just play along and see how everything goes so I hope everybody's having a good week and everything I hope everybody had an awesome Memorial Day I hope you honored every vet hope you honor somebody in your life and especially veterans who made our our land possible free of everything and who are still fighting today so hope you guys like this video please i the can't even do an outro why can't i do an outro nobody can do an outro right <laughs> make up your own outro anyways Please like and share this video and leave a comment down below on where to start and please subscribe and I'll see you guys all next time. Oh wait, I forgot something. Ah, I'm, do I'm getting ahead of myself guys. Just remember you guys are all a book and it's still being written so I will see you guys all next time.